Okay, boys and girls, today's lesson is introducing you to the concept of perspective. And perspective means that something that is near to you is bigger. Something that moves away into the distance gets farther away. So we're going to talk about foreground, middle ground and background. And in very easy terms, here, near and far away. Okay, so that's perspective. So what we're going to do is get a clean piece of white paper and we're going to get a crayon and you're going to do three lines okay so first thing sort of like near the center or a little bit up draw a straight line this is your horizon line okay that's one line next line a wavy line it can be anywhere here down below it's going to be breaking up the landscape so this is your here foreground this is your near middle ground and this will be your background far away then you're going to draw an, one more line final line a sun that could be a sun that's setting or it could be a sun that's already risen okay we're going to take this out a little bit so you can see or it could just be a sun that's up high in the sky the one that I did was a sun that was actually rising or setting but I'll do it the other way so you can see that you've got options you could draw it this way okay so one, two, three. I'm going to give you a palette of temperate uh, paints and you're going to choose your colors. So you're going to have a lovely warm sky and green for land and then you can mix some blues to make a water. Now I want to show you an example of another student's work so that you can see once you've painted those in you're going to get a fine paintbrush and then some black paint and then you're going to go over the lines that you drew and also add in some accents. Now also what we did was actually we turned our paintbrush over to the hard end and we drew into the paint while it was wet. So you can see that we've actually added texture, which is one of the elements of art. You can see the spirals in the water, the landscape flowing. And then we also added in some extra details as well with the paint that we had. Now we've got this and it has to be dry now so that we're ready then to add in our African mud huts and this is where we start playing with perspective again I'm going to give every table a variety of paper squares construction paper and some scissors and glue sticks and what we're going to do is we're going to get squares and we're going to be placing them now I want you to lay them out first with a body for the building a square and a cone shape for the roof and I'm going to show you in a moment how to do that but I want you to lay them out first before you stick them down so this one would be in the foreground but when I put something that's a little bit higher up it's in the middle ground I'm going to move that because it's kind of clashing the yellow with the yellow with the sun I don't want to do that think about your color placements as well and your color choices and then I want to do another one in the far distance Okay, so up the squares that I've got, you can actually cut them. Okay, you can make them smaller if you want to. I'm going to make this one smaller. Because remember, with perspective, something that's farther away is a lot smaller. So I'm going to put that one there. So here, near and far away. Then I'm going to get another colour. I'm going to get a pink, actually. And I'm going to cut a triangle. So how I do that is I'm going to cut a nip off there and a piece off here which leaves me a triangle then this is the base now I know it's flat but what we'd like to do because we've looked at examples of mud, mud huts is actually to take my scissors and cut a curve okay so now it looks like a little hat and then I can place it on top of the house and then I've created a curve just like the African mud huts now when I've got them all in place that I'm really happy with them. I could even add another one farther away still if I wanted to. So I've got one, two, three, and I could do a little baby one there if I wished. I'm going to get my construction crayons and I'm going to do designs. Now some of the examples that I've showed you and I will have them up again for you to see had designs on the houses. So we can add if we wanted to because the roofs are made out of sticks we could draw lines, we could add varieties of colour. I'm going to see if I can highlight that a little bit so we can see it a little bit better. 
Also, with the remnants that you've cut out, is you could actually add sticks to the top of it as well. So it looks like, so if I show you here, so you understand what I'm talking about, it's like where they finish off the roof. I'm just going to add little tiny stems so it looks like the sticks are coming up and out. It adds more texture to it. Now what I'm going to do, there we are. I can do that with all of them that I've got there. I'm going to add a door. I'm not going to leave it. You could even collage this and do a paper door. I'm just colouring mine in with the construction crayon. Okay. I can add in windows as well. Or I could paper the windows and then draw over them. The choice is yours, boys and girls, how you want to do your designs. Always reference the images of the African mud huts that we've seen. Some of the mud huts actually have animals painted on them as well. So if you want to do that, you can. I'm going to do a round window and a door here. OK, I'm going to continue and finish this one off, boys and girls, so that you can see what it looks like when it's absolutely completed. So it's now your turn, boys and girls. We're going to start off drawing the three lines horizon line, the sun, and then the water line. We're going to paint it and you can also draw into the wet paint with the other end of your handle of your paintbrush, it's called the ferrule. And then with a fine paintbrush using black paint, you're going to illustrate and highlight. It actually makes it stand out and accent it even more. When it's dry, we are then going to collage, which means we're going to be adding paper and texture on the surface of our painting of our African mud huts and I'd like you to demonstrate to me that you have the understanding or perspective here, near, far away, foreground, middle ground and background. Now it's your turn boys and girls, let's go and make some art. <laughs> 